Today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the best CPUs you can pair with a 5070 Ti. We're going to go over multiple options here of varying budgets and use cases, starting with this 9600X. This is one of the newer AM5 processors. Pretty much every CPU I'm going to cover today, and most of the parts I like to cover on this channel are just newer parts because I think they're just the most irrelevant. So right now, the 9600X is a six quart, 12 thread processor. This is a very good value at 193 dollars and pairing this with the 5070 ti is going to be the best sort of budget cpu you could pair with it right now if you're looking to to buy a new cpu to pair with one then the 9600x is really going to be what you want particularly if you're just gaming if you're not doing any streaming and recording at the same time of gaming then the 9600x is probably going to do just fine um, and save you a little bit of money now, if you are somebody that wants to do gaming, but also do other things like some video editing and some recording and, you know, have a little bit more processes running, then you might want to step up to the 9700X 8-core 16-thread. It does come in at $317 right now, so it's not the budget option that the 9600X is, but it is going to give you some better performance and a little bit more availability to do some of those multitasking type things like recording while playing or streaming while playing going to give you a little bit more to work with in terms of that. So if you're getting a 5070 Ti, I would probably recommend getting something like at least the 9700X just to give you plenty of flexibility with your system. Again, unless you're just just strictly gaming and that's all you really care about and you just want to save money, then the 9600X will probably do just fine. But I would personally recommend pairing with a graphics card of that caliber, at least a 9700X. And I will leave links to all the parts mentioned in this video down below so you can check them out. They are Amazon affiliate links, so if you order from those links, it does help support the channel at no extra cost to you, and I do greatly appreciate it. So the next one here is a little bit of an interesting one. This is the previous generation, the 7800X3D. Still a very, very good, one of the best, probably the second best gaming CPU right now. 8 core, 16 thread, X3D processors by Ryzen, by AMD are very, very good for gaming. If you didn't know, their L3 cache in particular is a lot more, a good bit more than some of the other non-X3D versions. And a lot of games in particular use that L3 cache to basically get better performance in a nutshell. And this is the last gen, but you can find it for some decent deals at times. So I wanted to put it on here because it is still a great value if you're not if you're looking for something a little bit older that's still top of the line, but you want to save a little bit of money, this one would be a very, very good processor to pair with a 5070 Ti. Now, if you're looking to have the best processor for gaming right now, and probably the best processor you could pair with a 5070 Ti, you're going to be looking at this in 9800X 3D. This is the 8-core 16-thread Ryzen for right now about $477 on Amazon. But this one's going to be an absolute powerhouse of a CPU, especially for gaming with that X3D cache technology. So this is probably, well, it is the best CPU you could pair with any GPU right now, especially the 5070 Ti. It's going to be really great with that. But you will be paying a bigger price for it compared to like the 9600X or something. So you got to kind of determine how much FPS you're trying to get, what titles are you playing, and that sort of thing. Those are my recommendations for pairing a CPU, a new CPU with a 5070 Ti as of November of 2025. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.